like I'll see, we'll show some like a video or something like that of this man being hurt. I'm like, that's how villains are made. You are not his father. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey guys, we are back with another video. Meet the Simmons. Today we got a video from the Mental Power. I'm a big Marvel fan, DC fan. Superman is my favorite superhero. Uh, I love the play between the hero and the villain. Mm -hmm. And this, what we're going to watch today, shows a lot about the hero and the villain. That they're really not that different. Hmm. So, here we go. Do too. Check it out. Villains and heroes actually have the exact same backstory. The villain story and the backstory of the hero are pain. Mm. Remember I said the hero is an orphan? Yes. The hero is almost always an orphan in some way. They're, they're orphaned. The villain, if you watch the movie closely, screenwriters will put a scar on their face, a limp, some sort of speech and pain. What they're indicating is that this person has a painful backstory. So the difference between the villain and the hero is one thing, it's how they respond to things. Because mm, they were abandoned also. That's right. Yeah. And the villain says, the world hurt me, I'm going to hurt it back. Uh -huh. And the hero says, the world hurt me, I'm not going to let this happen. To you. Wow. It's I love it. Oh, that's good. I love it. And I think that wow. we could draw a lot from it because, you know, talking to men as many as, many men as I talk to, there are a lot of hurting men out there. I know you deal with a lot of hurting women. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we tend to look at things as black and white. We tend to look at things as good and bad. Um, and I, I always am careful of that because, like you said, the hero and the villain, they're, they're, both of their stories come from pain. You know, you tell somebody like Scar from Lion King, he has a scar on his face. Yeah. So where did he get that scar from? Nobody even worries about that. He, he was, you know, he has this big brother that is just larger than life and then there's him. Mm -hmm. So imagine how, what kind of pain he had to deal with. And we tend to, we tend to just look at villains as like, oh, you're just vile and nasty. Evil. And yeah. And I always joke, I always tell men, like in my, around my boys, I'm like, I'll see, we'll show some like a video or something like that of this man being hurt. I'm like, that's how villains are made. Yeah. That's how villains are made. There are a lot of men walking around here who are very, very upset with a lot of women and the way modern women are and things like that. And they, and we see them in the comments and I've seen them on their various uh, different platforms and they're, they're just like, oh, I'm just, I swear off all women. I swear off, I ain't. Never get married, I don't deal with women, I just don't, 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 because they were hurt. Everything comes from pain, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's another side of it. You have men, men like myself, that are married and, and happily married, and uh, I've been hurt, I've suffered pain, but I had to go out on the hero's journey, which I talk about a lot. Um, I think that when we talk about heroes and villains and we talk about relationships, there, there's a there's a choice that has to be made. Yep. You have to, you have to choose love. You have to choose you which path you're gonna take because then you got the guy who's a player who's just knocking them, knocking, setting up women, knocking them down. He's doing that for a reason. It's not because he's a horrible person. Most of the time, it's sometimes a lot of times it's behind it's some pain behind that. Mm -hmm. You know. Then you got your guys who are super ultra simp's. You know, <laughs> maybe they want acceptance. You know, mm -hmm. and that there's pain behind that. So it's a lot to be discussed. What do you think about heroes and villains from a feminine standpoint? I love it. I even think, from, if you want to talk about men too, go ahead. But. No, I was going to say from a female standpoint, when it comes to a woman's pain, we, as, as a woman, we definitely can justify it. We definitely have the sympathy for it. We definitely have the empathy for it. Like, oh my goodness, the reason that you know, she's out here sleeping around and, you know, breaking up homes and sleeping with married men is because X, Y, and Z happened to her. Mm -hmm. And the reason why she is, you know, going on her job and, you know, stealing the files and, you know, trying to, to beat out another person in position of, you know, some position she wants is because this happened to her. Somebody did that to her. Mm -hmm. So for women, we definitely all day long, we hoorah, go sis, we got you, I understand girl, I've been there. Mm -hmm. But for us, most of the time, to have that level of sympathy or even empathy for you fellas, we don't have it. No. 
there's no excuse for it. Right. There's no excuse for the player. There's no excuse for this guy that's hooked on porn. There's no excuse mm -hmm. for the cheater. whatever it is, the mm -hmm. cheater. There's no excuse for it. And I think the reason we created this channel was because we have to have the balance. It's this one-sided approach and this one-sided aim that's not working for our community, not working for society as a whole, as a whole yeah. but as the, as, as the black community, it is not working for us. And that's what we're talking about. We can't just go hammer, hammer, hammer at the guys and not look at us as women. Ladies, it's time for accountability in our, in our culture. It is time for us to take a look at us so that we can heal and move and grow and, and, and leave a legacy behind for the future generations. That's what this is about. Yeah, that's the only way we can move forward. Yeah. And for us men, we have to take accountability. We have to hold those men in our circles accountable. Absolutely. We have to take, we can, we can no longer edify the, the guy who's going around knocking out women. We cannot say, oh, dude, he a player, you know, he get, we cannot, we have to have a standard. It has to be a standard of behavior in our community, and we have to hold men accountable. You have to hold your homeboy who's cheating on your wife accountable. Hey, bro, you got a week to get yourself together, or I'm gonna tell Susie. You know, like yeah. you have to do that. It ain't about snitching. It's about it's about what's right for everybody involved. Because if you don't, you have another broken home. We get you got to get to that point. We have to get to that point. So it's a level of maturity that we have not reached as men yeah. that we need to get to. And that's not knocking y'all down, bros. That's telling the truth. That's the, it's the work that needs to be done. And it comes from a place of maturity mm. and it comes from a place of love. Yeah. Because you truly, we truly want to heal our community. We truly want to want to get back to where we used to be, where we were respected. We have to be men of honor. And that's what it comes down to. And I think that's what it's going to take. Mm -hmm. We can't sit and throw rocks at each other, you know, and just say, she's doing this and he's doing that. We have to accept accountability on both sides of the house. And if we can't do that, and if we can't see each other as human and understand that we're all broken, yeah. then we might as well just go and shut this camera off and just walk away because there's no hope. It's always a decision point. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, life is my decision point. There's certain decisions that I've made in my life which brought me to where I'm at now. Mm. Good, better, and different. I made some great decisions, like marrying you. Great decision. I made some really bad decisions also. Yeah, uh, yeah. Financially, I made some bad decisions. You know, we early on in our marriage and. Uh, you have to understand that the journey, like I said, the hero's journey is wrought with decision points. And if you're gonna take that journey, you gotta understand that you're gonna make bad ones, but you don't have to keep down that path. Yeah. If, you, if you're if 18, 21 years old, and you just got some girl pregnant that you really don't care about, that's, a, whew, that's not great. But you don't have to continue down that road right. and get another girl pregnant and another girl pregnant and don't take care of the kids. You don't have to do that. You can say, hey, look, whoosh made a mistake there, I'm gonna do what I can to correct it, but I'm gonna course correct and get back on the right course. I would say, that, you know, if you find yourself in a place where you're just making bad decisions, you need a mentor. Yeah. Men, we need men, we need to hold you to account and we need mentorship. Good, solid mentorship. Not the guy on the corner, not the guy who who's who's just won't do right. We need good, solid mentorship in our communities and that doesn't always have to come from a father. It can come from a father figure, somebody that you know, or even just somebody that you meet in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. so. Same with the ladies, we need that mentorship as yep. well. Holding each other accountable. Heroes and villains, I like it. I like it too. So with that, that's, that's enough, enough said. said.